ASAP Rocky is living the life with Rihanna that you couldn't live. Your fairy tale, your dream life. You don't have to take my word for it. Listen to Drake. Don't have the fairy tale like, oh, Drake started a family with Rihanna. Like, this is like <laughs> you said you had way better chicks than her. Bruh, is this you? Alexa plays in an obsession with Mariah Carey because Drake is back at it again, talking about Ryan. At this point, Riri needs to put a restraining order on Drake because being this obsessed with someone is not normal. Drake just dropped a bunch of old footage of Rihanna from years ago, and this comes after he's been consistently dragging her and ASAP Rocky into songs. Still, Rocky has finally had enough of Drake coming for his wife. He fired back at him on a new diss track for being a complete creep who still hung up on R. But that's not all. Word on the street is that Rihanna and Kendrick Lamar are working on another collab where they plan to go nuclear on Drake and expose his weird obsession with her and other women who rejected him. It's been over six years since Van last mentioned Drake in public. Whatever little situations she had with Drake, she shut the door on that ages ago. She never even claimed Drake in the first place. That woman has fully moved on, and all she talks about these days are her kids and ASAP. She forgot Drake even existed. Did. The fact that this man, who has never been in a loving relationship, and had to conceal the fact that he fathered a son with an adult star, is now disparaging Rihanna and Rocky, is truly wild. You can't even write this off as trolling because no one is laughing. It's just eerie and weird. And to be honest, it's low-key giving incel vibes. So what exactly did ASAP Rocky say about Drake in this new song? And what is wrong with Drake that he's still obsessed? I'm not a psychiatrist, but you can't tell me that Drake's obsession with Rihanna is typical. It's been a long time since Rihanna severed all ties with Drake and moved on, living her best life with ASAP Rocky and their two children. But Drake can't get over Rihanna's rejection. Most recently, on his Kendrick diss track Family Matters, Drake made fun of Rocky for being a family man and boasted about having slept with Rihanna first. But here's what's creepy about Drake's obsession with Rihanna. Drake may be smearing Riri's name today, but his passion with her is widely known, and he has been openly lusting for her world for over 10 years. Perhaps not every female in the globe, but every girl in Crowd Cheers Toronto, I salute you, Rihanna. I love you, baby. The crazy thing is that Drake only began disparaging Rihanna and calling her average after she made her relationship public with Rocky. It's like that guy who gets obsessed with a girl and when she rejects him, calls her ugly. The worst part is that Drake still can't let go. Some people say that Drake only ever loved Rihanna, but that's not true. He just wanted to dominate her. He also clearly doesn't handle rejection well, as evidenced by the fact that he disparaged every woman who turned him down, from Riri to Nikki Megan. Serena Williams is only one of the many ladies on this list. In addition, isn't it fascinating how Drake consistently disparages black women? Scarlett Johansson also rejected him, but I don't recall him ever calling her out in a song. That's a subject for another video. Now let me provide you with some background on the Rihanna problem. When Rihanna was in Toronto in 2005, shooting the Pondera Replay music video, Drake and Rihanna first met. Drake always claimed he fell head over heels with Riri from day one, but let's be honest, Rihanna wasn't feeling it. And shortly after she started dating Chris Brown, now we all know Rihanna and Chris Brown were doomed from the start. But here's the kicker, while they were an item, Drake was constantly taking jabs at Chris. But after Rihanna and Chris split up following that 2009 incident, Drake suddenly started acting all buddy-buddy with Chris and even collaborated on two song song with in many way the romance rumors between Rihanna and Drake. First began swirling in May 2009, 
when they were spotted on what looked like a date at Lucky Strike Bowling Alley in NYC. But Rihanna shut down those romance rumors fast, and she made it clear that she was just having a little fun with Drake no strings attached. But that didn't stop Drake from catching feelings. And while Rihanna downplayed their little bowling day, Drake went full in obsessed mode and wrote a whole song about it in Fireworks. He even sings who could have predicted Lucky Strike would have you stuck with me um, exe, excuse me Drake after a day. Rihanna was clearly not stuck with you, but Drake seemed to be obsessed with her and couldn't stop talking about her in interviews. All the beautiful things and it's happening and I can't believe it. What's the thing that surprised you most about seeing your best friend become a father? Ooh, I, I loved him differently as a dad. This, this is, yeah, this is major, major, like, it's a turn on. It's just like, wow, what a leader, what a great patient. Now, once Rihanna saw that Drake was getting a little too obsessed, started distancing herself from him. And that's when Drake got all in his feelings and started throwing shade, accusing her of leading him on and giving him false hope. In 2010, Drake told the New York Times that he felt like Rihanna used him as a pawn and said she was doing exactly what I've done to so many women throughout my life, which is show them quality time then disappear. I was like, wow, this feels terrible. But then a few years later, Drake again started gushing over Riri in public. And he told Rolling Stone that Rihanna is still his ultimate fantasy. Now Rihanna and Drake did reconnect a few years later and dropped that steamy track work and Drake was convinced that this time, Rihanna would be his for real fast forward to the 2016 VMAs and Drake went all in declaring his love for her while presenting the Vanguard Award. But judging by Rihanna's reaction, it's clear that she wasn't feeling the same way. But most of all, we love the woman who hasn't changed since day one, she's someone, she's someone I've been in love with since, since I was 22 years old, Rihanna's fans were not happy with Drake after he turned his BMA speech into a love confession, totally stealing weary spotlight. Soon after the Vinamez, Rihanna threw some major shade on Instagram, saying none of my exes are married or in happy relationships. So it's safe to say that I wasn't the problem. Then two years later, Rihanna spilled the tea in a Vogue interview admitting that waiting through Drake's speech was probably the most uncomfortable part. She said, I don't like too many compliments and I don't like to be put on blast. And when asked about their status, now Rihanna revealed that they're no longer in touch, not even his friends. She said, we don't have a friendship now, but we're not enemies either. It is what it is. And this 2018 Vogue interview was the last time Rihanna publicly talked about Drake. But you know Drake being Drake, he just couldn't let it go, even though Rihanna made it crystal clear multiple times that she was never planning to claim him or take their relationship to the next level Drake kept acting like she was the one who got away the same year. Rihanna told Vogue that she cut all T.I. with Drake. Drake had already been called out by Pusha T and had to publicly acknowledge his son Adonis. When Drizzy appeared on Lebron James and Maverick Carter's HBO series, The Shop. While Drake told Lebron he was excited about being a dad, he also admitted that he didn't get the fairy tale life he always dreamed of. For Drake, that fairy tale meant settling down and starting a family with Rihanna. But why would you speak in such a negative manner about someone who refused to acknowledge that she had slept with you? Before Rihanna and ASAP Rocky went public, Drake was gushing about how Riri was the most incredible woman he had ever met, reminiscing about what could have been and calling her his fantasy. However, the moment Rihanna and Rocky went official and started a family is even more bizarre. Rihanna never once claimed Drake as her boyfriend. Instead, she treated him like the groupie he was. Drake thought she would settle down and have kids with him. Drake abruptly transformed into a borderline one. He disparaged Rihanna and ASAP, saying he was never infatuated with her. He even disparaged her bedroom abilities, calling her mediocre on the song Fear of Heights off his most recent album, 
all the dogs. Drake WS Drake then makes fun of Rocky, rapping and asking why they make it seem like I'm still stuck on you. That could never be me, girl, and you can't ruin me better than me. By the way, on Kendrick's This Family Matters. Yeah, and the ex was average with you. Yeah, I had it with you. Okay. I'm auntie, like your daddy's sister auntie, like a family picture. I have a way better bit than you. I didn't even realize you were still wrapped since everyone was discussing your fit again. It would help if you got married again before you consider releasing more music, Drake says in response to Rocky. Drake recently dropped unseen footage from years ago, showing him and Rihanna rehearsing for a performance of Take Care. Drake also shared footage of him telling his mom, Sandra, that the song is about Serena Williams, to which Sandy responded. Is Drake seriously implying that it's terrible to put your children and family before your rap career? How did he think that was a DI to rock? But this makes sense coming from Drake. I feel nervous, man. She made me feel small. She's an overwhelming being. Like, she's beautiful and talented, and her personality is like, it's almost like scary. And for the first time, a, a woman just brought back that feeling of when I was 17 or 18, and I appreciate it so much because you get into this position and tell I mean, this is the same man who ha. Huh? This is so embarrassing for Drake. Why is he releasing these old files instead of responding to Kendrick? Either move on from the drama, return to making regular songs or get in the booth and respond directly. This screams desperation on Drake's part. He's pushing 40 alone with a child he didn't want to acknowledge and stuck on a woman who left in 2016. It makes sense that most of Drake's core fan base is teenagers I apologize, but Drake is giving off severe SL man-child vibes akin to arrested development, and it seems he will require professional assistance to address his problems going forward. The song Harvest But Still Hanging Up On R is slated to be on Rocky's next album, Don't Be Dumb, which drops on August 30. Let me tell you, the lyrics are full of jabs and allusions directed at Drake CL. Rocky has a few words for Drake, and he just checked him. Ting him for his weak efforts in the first stanza to disparage Rihanna. Rocky begins rapping Fly because she is attractive and fat. Later in the song, Rocky seems to allude to Drake's fixation with Riri, saying, These ninjas want my wife bad, the people want my next try. He then swears, They pimping Scotty. Simply get your wife back. By the way, this is only a taste of what's to come. Just this week, DJ Cast One of Hot 97 revealed that ASAP has a ton of diss tunes planned for his next album. Cast said, I heard ASAP Rocky definitely addressing a lot of the hot topics out there right now. Let's just say that this list is looking pretty extensive. And when Ebro asked if Rocky is still on Drake's list, Cass said, oh, he's definitely going to be cemented on the list after this. And then if those rumors are true about Rihanna and Kendrick, working on a new collab well, Drake is in for a surgical fall, that's for sure as for fans, they're saying nothing is entertaining about Drake's obsession with Rihanna. And it's getting seriously scary now. Some folks think that Drake is playing into the obsessed with Rihanna stick for publicity. But even if it is accurate, it doesn't make it any less embarrassing at his considerable age. And after all that success, he's had Drake still has to resort to using Rihanna's name for publicity. This is just sad, but let me know in the comments how you feel about Drake's obsession with Rihanna. Do you think he's playing it up on purpose? Drop your comments below, and I'll catch you in this next video.